Caging. Yes, sir. Styling on them. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. Yes, sir. Say that one more time for the people in the back. Yes, sir. We are back. Wow, it is. Given our typical schedule, we normally here for what? Monday, Wednesday, Friday, something like that. We're we'll making some changes, but uh, we're here on Sunday. That's part of the change. And we're covering that uh, that epic card. Yeah, I'm overselling it. It started <laughs> off. It, it ended epic. Started soft. That, uh, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't epic if you uh, if you Dana White. Apparently, <laughs> apparently. Yeah, it wasn't an epic finish if you Dana for sure. When it's that Derek Brunson, Edmund Shabazi fight night. Back at the apex. Small cage. Small cage. You know how we know we in America. Mad cancellations. Hit my Sorry. channel all up on the mic, Sammy. <laughs> Mad cancellations up here, man. Started off as an 11, as a, what, 11 fight card. Ended up only being, was that seven? Eight. Eight. Yeah. Eight? Yeah. Eight. Ended up being an eight-fight card. So, one, of, one of the guys pulled out literally uh, as he walked into the cage. On his entrance, he had to pull out. So, yeah, it wasn't a good night. Rona just first hit fight in the, First fight in the main card as well. Like, <laughs> first fight in the main card, bro. It was like... <laughs> And now off to the main card. Going back to our back to our talking lady. And she's like, Well, this guy. <laughs> this it's guy crazy. He was just about to walk out in. No, can it. It's crazy that they were able to uh get uh banana and uh green out so quickly. Cause yeah. Hey man, I, I happened quick. They but, even, uh, yeah, they weren't even preparing for that. They was preparing for something totally different. We yeah, still I mean, got a whole, couple, still got a whole another five, five, five to fifteen minutes, you know. Right, right. But yeah, man. Uh, this little breakdown of those cancellations. We had Ray Board pulled out for an undisclosed reason. Tamar Valive pulled out undisclosed reasons. My guy GM three Gerald Mearshart caught the Rona. Hopefully, he gets well soon. Eric Spicely caught the Rona. Hope he get well soon. <laughs> Uh, those were four cards we had. They found replacements for Ray Borg and Tamar Believe. Wasn't able to get replacements for Ed Herman and Marcus Perez, so those two fights were canceled. And like you just mentioned, Trevin Giles fainted as he's walking out to the ring. So it was a disastrous fight night for UFC. And it almost, it even started Whoa. off disastrous. Started off disastrous. Oh, can't get that out. <laughs> Started out disastrous for him over there. Mm. Now, how do you how did you feel about that Gutierrez uh, Cody Durden fight? Oh man, I was uh, yeah, bro. As a guy who came into this wanting Gutierrez to win or expecting right, Gutierrez right. to win, uh, that kind of kind of put a damper on what I was going into this thinking. Um, and it and it's basically like. I mean, like, me and you talked about it before, and I was right. thinking to myself, like, how does a guy who gets a leg kick KO in the first fight of the night? And then it's like, when you see, I mean, how easily he got taken down in the first round, I was like, oh, well, okay. Uh, I, he, he just be kicking folks. It's like, he not really, you know, he don't have no stand-up ability uh, once he's on the floor. Like, he has very good stand-up, but, you know. The, the the get up ability <laughs> once get back you know to once, up. once you down there like that man uh, <clears throat> we were super crazy. high on this guy I mean I'm still not you know I'm still pretty high on him but it's crazy thinking uh, yeah bro you can see you can see it after the first round like it was literally coming across the little ESPN screen 10 8 round 10 8 round 10 8 round I was like damn bro like they really like that dominant position and the fact that he didn't try to get up, he didn't even, I mean, he didn't let him strike from him. He, he basically just let old buddy just lay on his back or sit on his back. See, bro. Yeah. 
he bowled him. His reluctance to get up in that first round cost him because he dominated the last two rounds. And like I said, I he it, probably it was it was it was basically a clinic. It was basically a clinic from there. Like those second two rounds, like every time he shot, it was a, a very deep sprawl. Uh, I don't even think he ended up on back, but maybe one time after that. Um, and I want to say he got right back up. So basically, it. I mean, like you said, like it was a clinic standing up after that. I mean, head kicks, body kicks, leg kicks. But when when the first round is ten eight, it's like you you basically got to finish. Got to get a finish. You got to get a finish if you ain't in the championship fight. And he, like to me, he he ruined it. Like the to have a come off a calf kick finish to then end up in the draw. Get another one. Lackluster draw. It was. Uh, this wasn't great. Another one. So hopefully we see the Gutierrez bounce back and, and probably we need to say props to Cody Dirty. He took the fight, uh, making his debut. I don't know if it was a short notice fight, but yeah, he was making his debut. Uh, did what he needed to do to not lose. And hey, and like I said before, like coming into the fight, I mean, said on the YouTube. He ain't even had no wiki, so I can't even necessarily <laughs> see what the wrestling credentials look like or whatever. They were saying on the on the broadcast, like, yeah, he was a, a wrestler in Georgia or something like that. So yeah, like it was clear. Like, it was yeah, clear. It, wrestling was his wrestling was his go to. He did not want to stay with dirt, uh, with Gutierrez. So we're gonna see what they do. Hopefully those guys can bounce back. Chris Chris Gutierrez won the fight, but lost the first round so badly that <laughs> But he didn't really do it. He didn't take any damage. It was almost like cards, Those were cards like, all over again. Yeah, yeah. Those he just lost on position. Yeah. He just lost on position. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then we got to, uh, got to Jamal Amherst looking for his first win. Going against a guy making his UFC debut. And Vince uh, Conchero <laughs> stepped in uh, last minute replacements for Tamara Belief. And Conchero yeah. was game. And Emmer's hit him with everything but the kitchen sink. And Control looked like he didn't even take any type of damage. Like, bro, to get hit that much with everything he was getting hit with and still look fresh faced, he either got some tough skin or Emmer's uh, couldn't bust he it. Got no power. Punches. <laughs> he got no power. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, bro. You wouldn't bust the grave. Control got to have some sort of crazy cardio because he was taking mad knees to the body. And for him to like literally like, I mean, he took this fight on one day notice. So <laughs> like, he was ready. Like he was, he had to have like had like, and see that it works out for him. Now he's in. He got a, a UFC contract. So shout out to right. him. He didn't get demolished. He lost. But like, what do you expect is going to happen to a guy? I'm not gonna say he didn't get demolished, but he didn't lose. I His mean, face he didn't, he got the, Yeah, he didn't get. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He didn't get Shabazzian. He, 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 he didn't get that. He didn't get that, though. He didn't get that, though. I ain't going to... Hey, hey. That's what, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So, shout out to Cachero. He didn't even have a full <laughs> Yeah, hey. one day. Yeah. Yeah, one day. Oh, Under, man. One that's day, cool. guess what? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm just I'm just speaking the facts. I'm just speaking the facts. He didn't get admin. That's all I'm gonna say. I heard okay. a couple of hearts out there, but hey, you okay. can hear what it is. <laughs> all right. Okay, that yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. But Shout man, out to Cachero. Shout out to Cachero. It is crazy. <laughs> Shout out to Cachero, but even to go back to Gutierrez, bro, they came into this card knowing. We only have eight fights on this card. That's that's normally thirty three percent of a normal card. They're normally twelve fight card. Eight cards 60, on the 66 percent, thirty three percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirty thirty three percent missing. Sixty six percent there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know. Why these guys look like they didn't care that they had a better chance at getting uh, performance bonuses? They, uh, Easy chance have... to get to fifty thousand. Facts, bro. You gotta have some sort of like pedal to the metal, boss to the wall. Uh, I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like Amherst was in there trying to work on different parts of his game. 
Screw all that. Get the finish. I feel. I actually feel like Emmers was trying in those first two rounds, like no, probably the no, first man. round and a half. Uh, probably the first round and a half, he was hitting nobody with everything he could. But then once he realized, like, I mean, he's just not falling. Like, I'm gonna just let me let me just wrestle him now. Let me let me just try to take him down. And it's like, you already know, Dana don't Dana don't do that, bro. Yeah, he's not caring. He's not caring. He's not caring. Oh, give me a second. On the screen. But yeah. Oh, yeah, we had that. Embers uh, did get the dominant uh, score on the card. It was 30-27 across the board. Wasn't in danger of losing the fight at all. But uh, Cachero came out and looked like the guy that we saw last time on short notice. Uh, Urban Rivera, when he fought uh, mm. Giga. Like, you know, right. he, didn't, he didn't look defeated in that fight. Did his thing. So, shout out to Cachero. I'm going to be eager to see him at 135. He was actually also fighting up in a weight class. So, mm. he did his thing on short notice. Did his thing on short notice. And then we get to another fight that had a guy on short notice with Nathan Manis. He already was training. He had a full card versus John Munoz. And I couldn't. The highlight of this fight was all the uh, kicks to the nuts. Uh, that was nice. it. That was it. Uh, to be honest, I don't even think Manis necessarily won this fight. Um. I just even with the, the points, even with the point deduction, I think the point deductions took away so much in the judge's eyes that it was like, okay, maybe maybe this guy I lost came, that round too. I came in the third round though, but he also had a kick to the neck in the second round as well. It's like I feel like they took away so much of the didn't uh, do, they took away so much of the flow of the fight that it almost like all right, maybe you lost this round, like because the way that it, I mean. Mm. I, Munoz, thought, I thought Muyos yeah. won the first round for sure. And, and third the round, he round lost the sure. second round was close. The second round was close. Both second round. Both yeah. second round. I, I, I didn't see it as. Uh, I thought it was going to be like at least. With him winning that last round and the point deduction, I thought it was going to be 29 28. Was it like some 30 27s? Like it he was, was going to win 29, even without 29, the point deduction? 29 27. So yeah, yeah it yeah, would have been 29 28. It would have been 2 to 1. Without the Across the board. Yeah. Even so, yeah, I, I didn't know it was going to be that close. But it was, but when you look at it, Munoz had to, he kept having to get uh, separated when he got the clinch along the fence. He didn't right. do work with the clinch along the fence. And uh, at the end of the day, that's, bas uh, that's basically what it was. It's like every time he, uh, that that's basically what it was. Because I want to say he kicked him in the nuts in the first round. And the second mm -hmm. round, and the third round. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was the fir first round twice. Oh, okay. first round twice back to back. Like they, they they separated, came back together, kicked him in the nuts again. He's like, "Hey man, <laughs> all right now, <laughs> this the last time I'm gonna let you know." So the one, so the one round that he actually won was the one where he kicked him in the nuts twice. Yeah, yeah, that was when he won. Okay. Cause he had a nasty yeah. takedown. He did like he get he got takedown. Had some great. He almost uh. He almost could have finished it in that first round. He had top. He had had a mounted, and old and boy had to over his face. Kept trying to, and it's like after the second uh, kick to the balls, it was almost like I don't even want to throw kicks anymore. I know this guy has better hands than me, so what do I do? He kept trying to over overshoot for the wrestling, and it just wasn't working. Uh, uh, he was getting hands put on him, but I didn't really think it was that clear to where it would have been. You know, two to one minutes like that. But like I said, the the I mean the nut punches kind of, uh, or the nut kicks I should say, kind of took away so much of the flow of the fight that it was like by the time he did it in the third round, it was like they were gonna give the other guy the third round regardless. You know, like man, it stays. I thought man is actually won the second and third round just by staying busy in those clinches. Like he was throwing to the body nonstop when they were in those clinches, and it was that was all he could do. And he just had another guy laying on him, not trying to advance, not trying to do anything but throw knees. And I, I feel like he hit him a lot of times with those knees in the nut. So that was just a very sloppy, like, uh, sloppy fight. I feel like Mungo should have. I feel like Mungo should have uh, should have tried. To, he almost had a, a couple of subs in that third round when he ended up on the bottom. Uh, he was shooting those takedowns. Should should just pull a guard. Uh, Manis clearly need to work on other things. Um, he has good boxing, but I don't necessarily know that he had much. 
uh, mixing of the martial arts. Uh, I have managed over Ray Borg. I, mm, yeah, that that, if Ray Borg would have been here, yeah, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you would have been wrong. <laughs> Not today. Yeah, but yeah, no. I, so we have three fights. We already have three fights and five fights left. And we're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> this card, this is what this card is looking like. <laughs> This card is about to be like, and then my guy Jonathan Martinez showed up, and, and he, he showed, showed out. out, and he showed out. He he oh, he should have got a bonus. If he wouldn't have missed weight, he would have got a bonus. Missed that weight, missed that way, missed way, he would have got a bonus. At the expense of my guy Frankie Sands, and I hate our signs. Hate hate it had to be him. He was trying to. Uh, it looked like he was trying to end the career on a high note. Right. But, and now that's, that's was that back to back losses uh, via knockout. I doubt the UFC is going to like. I doubt he continues to fight. It's probably not wise for him to fight. He's more. He's more of the old school. Uh, that lightweight, bantamweight. That was bantamweight. Yeah. He fought Cheeto very. Yeah, yeah, that was at bantamweight. He's an old school Dude, bantamweight. Gotta, uh, like, like they're short. He he has the body of a, of a guy who should be fighting that flyweight. Those little yeah. tank dudes. He he's yeah. he built like all of the guys uh, that that trained at uh, Uriah Faber's gym. Uh, he had a decent like first probably two minutes, and then after that it was like yeah no, <laughs> no gassed out. Martinez actually just, put on the good. performance that I thought Gutierrez was gonna put on in the first right. fight. Exactly. Um, those kicks were crazy. Uh, he fought out of South Boston, so. There was a whole lot of body kicks. Uh, he kicked him smooth in his head, like, multiple times. Uh, he was killing that leg. Yeah, bro. He, he, he toasted In the knees. Like, that was the ridiculous. Knees. Yeah. Yeah. Every time, every time he tried to uh, press forward, that knee came straight straight up the middle. It was either a knee to the kick to the body. Yeah. I don't I don't know how, uh, I don't know how he st- stayed up as long as he did. This was, uh, this was like, uh, Mike Davis versus Thomas Gifford, but with kicks instead of boxing. Ooh, you thought that was that bad? It was that bad, bro. He was getting toasted with, with those kicks. He was getting, oh yeah. Gosh. Yeah. It was bad. I didn't know if it was that bad. Jeez. Yeah, I'd like to see Martinez again for sure. And I'd like to see him make weight. You gotta he see him good. make weight. If you don't make he weight, you gotta good. go up to uh, 145. See, that's I don't think that's a good move. Him at 135 is perfect. Him at 145, eh, you just a regular size guy. So, yeah, yeah I would like to, to see Martinez again. Uh, he, he, he would dust off uh, Manny. Probably dust off <laughs> Ray Borg, too. <laughs> uh, why, are you giving, why are you doing my guy Ray Borg like that, man? Why you got to do him like that? It should be at flyweight. That's all. Dang. I like Great Boy. Move down. Cut the one twenty five is where you where you were. But hey, it seems I don't uh I know the last time he he missed uh his fight was for a family reason, family issue. So that is that's an excuse. I'm hoping if this time it, he missed it because of like a weight cut issue, then maybe he can't even make one twenty five. Who knows? Who knows? That'd be intense. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So uh, that's what capped off the prelims. Jonathan Martinez finally showed up, gave us some good striking, gave us a good good match. And shout out to Frankie Sands. He made it an entertaining fight. He tried all the way through. Uh, sometimes the guy you're going against is just better than you, and he was bested. But he was very game. He didn't uh, waver. He, he fought to the end. It sucks he couldn't get it because it seemed like that was his farewell, might have been his farewell fight. And then yeah. <laughs> And it might have been it. no shade, but yeah, that might have been it. Yeah, so, we don't see Frankie uh, Frankie signs again. Saying thank you for the show, my guy. Thank you for the show. And we keep it moving right along. We is going to the main event or the main card. We're supposed to have Kevin Holland versus Trevin Giles open up. My guy Trevin Giles is walking in, doing his walkout, ready to exit any faint. I don't think it's COVID. They're saying it's not COVID. They're saying maybe it was like something uh, along the lines of anxiety. 
also maybe an issue with weight cutting. Who knows? But something happening. I was assuming it was something like uh, anxiety and being too amped up for the fight because he's already had his uh, his whole twenty four hours to rehydrate and all that good stuff. So shouldn't be due to weight cutting. But they uh, didn't let him go out there and fight. So he scrapped that one, moved it right along to Bobby Green, Lando Venata, which I say is fight of the night. But you're telling me you don't even care it's fight of the oh. night. You don't I'm like not saying. You only like performance bonuses. That's I'm what you're telling not me. Saying, but I don't care. I'm just oh, saying. Man. Uh, oh man, this Go ahead fight and say wasn't that. good enough to where Derek Brunson don't get no bonus. That's all I'm saying. It was good enough to where Jennifer Maya didn't get a bonus. That's what I feel. Because it takes uh, two to tango to make a fight of the night. It. You wouldn't have said this had it been Poirier Hooker on the line for fight. Thirty twenty six. 30-26. On one judge card. But it was... Uh, 30-27 30, 30, across the board. That, that's that, true. that don't sound like a fight of the night to me. And it's, it's no shade to... No shade to Venata. Because he had a very good first round. But that was it. And, I mean, Bobby Green basically just took... Bobby Green did his thing. Very Bobby good boxing. Green. Very good boxing. Venata... Uh, I mean, Venata, Venata did this thing, too. They were both slipping good punches. Both of them kept their hands down. They was talking mess. Uh, but, I mean, it was, it was, it was sparring, spe- sparring session, like. If one, guy sparring. Drops, if, one, if one guy drops 50 points and the other guy drops 30, you're not going to say the guy who dropped 30 had a horrible game. 50. It, 50. Because that's what 30-27 is. That's 50 points. Right there. That's uh. what I have to say. Somebody dropped 50 and another guy drops 20. I mean 30. Nah, this, He's not gonna say is, dropping is 30 isn't isn't good enough. Uh, no, nah, this was basically up. this is basically oh. one guy dropping 30 and the other guy dropping 27. That's 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 exactly what it was. 27 and 26. You know. Oh my god. <laughs> at that point no, nah, like no at that no, point is fighting no than like, No, no shit though. It was a good fight. Especially compared to the uh, the first three decisions that were on the card, this was yeah, it was clearly clearly the best decision fight of uh, the night. Like, uh, bro, I almost even what it gave Brunson and uh, Shabazian uh, fight in the night though. I feel like Shabazian had, had no moments. Shabazian had no moments in that fight that warranted him getting. That word that made that fight entertaining. 30 26. 30 26. Knocked out. 30 26. You said knocked out. You want to get the guys got knocked out somebody too? You talking about at least the other guy made it to the end of the fight. Are we going to do this? What is knocked out? Knocked out like what? 20? 30 to 20 is what we're going to call that. 30 30, 30, 30, 30, 25. That was like 30 25. No, 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 no. That was 30. That was 30 to 0. He didn't even get the points. You don't collect no points. Jeez. Hey. But yeah, man. Bobby Green did his thing, man. He came out, he was slipping punches, landing elbows, landing, landing, uh, um, I forgot the name. Uh, Catch hooks, or not, uh, oh my goodness. Can't even think of the word. But yeah, he was like, check hooks. Check hooks. Check hooks. There we go. Yeah. Check, hook. check, 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 check the hook. Yeah. Check the hook. I was calling it catch hook. Check hook. Start with a C. End yeah. with a hook. Sounds good to me. Venata uh, <laughs> was a game fighter. He tried to the end. Didn't get good, finished. Good kicks. Good boxing. He actually landed some good points. Uh, bro, Green. Bobby Green just clearly got a chin, and he's very good at rolling with his punches. Uh, I think would yeah, be a lot better if he... Uh, if he left all the antics, or he can keep the antics with Dow down on. Him. He's, had, uh, he's had he's had his uh his issues with uh, getting the decisions, but sometimes that can play against you with some refs or some judges. I don't like this guy. He showboating too much. It, it's possible. I'm not saying that's what's happening. But Green looks the part of a guy who's better than his record says. And, all I know is I want to see him fight again to. Uh, oh, yeah. Anthony Daddy. 
I was yeah. He had his chance to call somebody out too, and he didn't even use it. He he, he talked about his hand being broken. I wish he would have made a call out. I wish he would have called gotta, out somebody. We did get a call out in his next fight, and I actually like the call out. Ooh. Oh, the next Luke fight. Okay. Yeah, Luke. A. I wish he would fight up and set it down. But yeah, let's let let's move. We, we spent enough time on Bobby Green's dominant performance of Landon Venata for the fight of the night. Dominant fight of the night. Hey man, it is what it is. But Vicente no, Luque, okay. Randy Brown. I thought we was about to see back to back upsets. I actually had Brown getting it done. And I knew Brown was gonna lose within the first Three one or two kicks. leg kicks. One yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I was about to say one or two leg kicks. Uh, yeah, it, it's just uh, it's just you can't you can't fight at a at a guy's leg kicking distance. And, and this is the reason why Brunson won his fight, and we'll get to that one when we get to the Brunson. But like, you have to close that distance. You have to smother that guy to where his kicks are not uh, are not effective. And Luke was able to kill his fr- kill his lead leg. The jab was no longer even able to be used. Yeah, he and, was done. He couldn't even plant. And plant. He was he, kicking he him off his feet. Yeah. Yeah, he damn near had the uh, the shoulder with the park stance. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm standing straight up like a uh, rock'em, sock'em robot. Oh, um, man. Yeah, bro. He, he was he was tearing that leg up. Every time he, uh, he saw it touching the floor, it was like, yep, I'm, I'm going to throw the leg again. And every time uh, he caught him, Checking for the leg kick, he was like, "Now nah, I'm just bomb on you with these hands." Uh, yeah. Luca is tough, bro. I, I really go to show tough. you how good. Uh, I really go to show you how good uh, Stephen Wonderboy Thomas Thompson is uh, in striking because he, he destroyed him. <laughs> like, that, he I wasn't destroyed. even a, I wasn't even Bobby Greenland over that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Oh, so man, it's like. Yeah. But it's like, I mean, Luke has basically beat everybody else, and I haven't seen anybody even force him to be able to do anything but strike. So I don't know if he's maybe he's fighting all strikers or I don't know, but I need to see him fight somebody who can test him, challenge him, something. He did call out uh, Nate Diaz. Not a challenge. Not a challenge, not a though, challenge. right? And that's why I don't like the call out because challenge. it also it's a fight down. I know. It, like it does nothing for Luke in anything. Like he won't move up the rankings with that win. He will get a bigger. He it will add he, to his profile. It will add to his profile just because the the uh, Diaz brothers have such a big name. But I don't think Nate Diaz would j- uh, take that fight any because uh, first off he's probably gonna lose that fight, and second off, um, risky. yeah, bro. I don't think I don't yeah I don't think he's willing to lose that fight against a guy who don't have a name. Like, and see, that's the thing. It's like, I mean, Luca is only two losses in the last however many, like 10, 11 fights, 12 fights, whatever it is. Uh, his only two losses have been uh, Leon Edwards and, and Wonder Boy. So it's like, at that point, he's he's clearly top competition. Uh, Would you like to see Luca versus Pettis? I don't think Pettis is that nice, bro. <laughs> I don't think Pettis is that nice, bro. Uh, uh, he's not beating. I don't think he beats the sensei, but it's a it's a more entertaining main fight for him to have. But yeah, I think Lucas should actually be fighting up, fighting up like a lot higher. I know he, he lost to he lost to Wonder Boy, and maybe he can redeem that fight. You learn sometimes you learn when you lose. Um, too too recent, too recent. Not, not him, uh, too high, uh, but he has to fight. He has to be fighting ranked guys. He can't do another unranked guy. Give him like a. a ch- uh, I don't want to see. Uh, do I want to see Th? Luke versus Robbie Lawler. Luke versus either Ts or RDA, bro. One of these guys that's going to actually test his grappling as well. Uh, Robbie Lawler. Mm, good fight. I like Luke probably, versus probably, Robbie Lawler. Probably very similar to the. Uh, I want to see Robbie Lawler versus uh, Mike Perry. That's what I want to see. Yeah, man. Easy. Yeah, I, I feel like that fight right there, which we just had to be similar to the uh, Luke A versus Mike Perry fight. But it will be a good fight, though. It will be a good fight. Hey, I just want to see him fight up. Work his way back up to the top. 
give Randy Brown uh Chamayev. Let, let him get smashed. <laughs> let him get smashed real quick. Oh, uh, he ain't got no wrestling to yeah. Randy <laughs> Brown's too little. Randy Brown should probably move up to uh, uh middleweight. He looks too little for one for welterweight. Too little. Until until we get in the ring with a cat in here. You can't take you can't take Luke a calf kicks, but Cannon is gonna fold your fold your whole whole again. Yeah, one seventy then. Uh, but yeah, bro, that was a crazy knee. Like the way he, uh, he held his head up to make sure he wasn't touching the floor to make it illegal or whatever, Just blasting him, bro. And yeah, I'm not that that wasn't a late stoppage or anything, but he was, was clearly stoppage. done by that knee. Yeah, it was it was it was good. It was, good. It was a clean but stoppage. Was, yeah. That knee, that knee, uh, you could you could tell from the time that knee landed though, like it was, oh, this is over. It's, that's it. It's done. And Luke it's done. need to throw those extra punches? No. <laughs> <laughs> Good stoppage, yes, or, or stopped it as fast as you could. But Luke, hey, hey. Luke gave him some uh, some some Jorge Masvidal punches with that one. Facts. Facts. And man, we talked about how risky this fight coming up was going to be for Calderwood. Now she is basically putting her chance at a title in jeopardy, or at least chance at a title fight in jeopardy. And lo and behold, she ain't got a title shot no more. One round, all it takes. One round, half a round, and it looked like Maya was the uh, was even beating her standing up. This fight was probably about to be a, a win for Maya either way. That was the uh, that was the surprising part to me, bro. Yeah, that was also uh, surprising. Text you right before the fight started saying, uh, man, just looking at their little warm ups, it looked like Calderwood is nice and Maya just ain't got nothing. Calderwood's out there throwing the full combos in her little pre warm up. Maybe she, maybe she Maya, gassed out. <laughs> Maya was basically throwing, I'm a, I'm a jab, 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 I'm gonna throw the straight, straight. So, like, she was, like, she was doing, uh, she was doing type workouts and stuff. Like, this, this, that didn't look like nothing. Uh, but clearly her job worked, clearly her straight work, because. Like you said, it looked like she was winning in stand up as well. Uh, Carterwood looked like she wanted to be a little bit too pretty with her stand up. Uh, I want to make sure I touch you with the job. I want to make sure I touch you with the leg kick. I want to make sure I make you think about stuff. Uh, and Maya was like, no, I'm trying to actually uh, uh, swing through your face with every punch. I think it's just done early. I think, I think some fighters go in with a uh, pre plan game plan how they think the fight is going to go it just looked like calderwood was easing her way into the fight right Maya she, didn't have, she had too much of a fill out yeah Maya too much of a fill out process yeah she was trying to get and, straight uh, to the word <clears throat> Maya threw the little body kick might have been a body kick might have been one of those high leg kicks where it's not not necessarily to the calf like the smart fighters do you know but <laughs> whatever it was it got caught she got tripped up a uh, nice little sweep and apparently Carterwood should have tried to uh, make her stand back up, but like you said, she was getting, she was kind of getting pieced up in the, uh, in the stand up as well. So she ended up on top. That that arm bar, yeah, it was nice. Even kidding, it was nice. the way she got to it though, she, cause Carterwood, it seemed like she was attempting to get up. Maya kept her trapped in there by uh, uh, getting her arm under her, uh, under her hamstring area. Kept her try uh, locked in enough to get that arm to get the arm, then uh, slid over to uh, execute that arm bar. And now she' about to fight uh, Shevchenko when it's all said and done. When they set that up, and she' gonna have a success against Shevchenko? Eh, maybe not. I don't think anybody. I don't think anybody's having success against uh, Shevchenko at this point. Uh, we talk. saw and we saw what Caitlyn looked like against the other Shevchenko. Uh, yeah, bro. I I, 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 I don't see anybody, anybody. She is coming up for surgery, so I mean, this may be a, a closer fight than or she, surgery, surgery, smurgery. She just gonna go out there, <laughs> dust her off real quick, and do a you ballet dance. Right. Yeah, <laughs> get back to dancing and yeah, get back to doing the rock head kick, rock head yeah. kick. Uh, sucks to be called to wood right about now. Could have just stayed quiet, but hey, you rather have that performance against? I don't know what you'd rather have, but it just seems like no. I, 
she don't... thought she was going to come in here and get a show money. I mean, get show money, get a win bonus. Probably even thought she was going to get like a performance bonus, especially once she realized, oh, it's only eight, eight fights and uh, three of them on the undercard <laughs> was trash. Okay, cool. I got this. Oh, Nothing. No problem. I got it. But yeah, man, she that's a tough way to tough way to go. They underestimated, yeah. Probably underestimated Maya. And uh her willingness. <laughs> she to over her. overestimated her. Carter will overestimate her. So bro, tell me uh what's her name in her last fight basically said the same thing, True Kagan, before she got the uh before she got the uh title shot, she basically said uh Oh, if I can't beat Jennifer Maya, then I don't I don't deserve a title shot anyway. And I mean, clearly Carter would have the same type of uh, mindset. And hey, she she fell for it. Took that L. Yeah. Losses all across the board. And then we get to the main event. Fight I saw coming. How come I saw coming, should I say? Oh man. My guy, oh, come on, then. She, Derek Brunson showed up, showed out, and I knew he was gonna win from the entrance. He came out to my guy Nipsey. Mm-hmm. I could be getting in the mean streets. Oh man, at that point, I knew it was mm-hmm. over. I knew it was over. So, but he put on a performance that people just. Uh, I was reading these comments. I, we'd be on MMA Twitter. All the comments, everybody was saying, oh, yeah, Shabazian, this this great striker. Brunson ain't going to have nothing for him. He's old. He's over the hill. It's it. Hey, Styles was, make uh, fights. Styles make fights. Shabazian I think guys. Shabazian had a pretty decent first round. That he lost. Uh, he, he, lost probably the lost the, he probably lost, so, probably lost the first round. It was, it, was, it was close. It was close. Give me the other hand. It was the first I one. Don't, he lost. I don't. <laughs> it was the first one that he lost. <laughs> that second his, his... round, though. Yeah. What I will say, that second round, not even close. He he got my body locked in that second round. Uh, like it was a ten and nine even before the almost finish, and by the time it was almost finished, it was like that second round could have been a ten eight. Um, no, 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 no. That second round was a ten eight. No, yeah, almost that, a, that's, almost that's a second round. Herb, almost that's, a Herb Dean stopping. You know you get it done up if Herb point. Dean is looking that, to stop it. That means that was a 10-8 round. <laughs> so, it was basically 10-9, 10-8, oh, and then, I mean, basically one of those, uh, I mean, bro, the third round was basically that, that last round of the, uh, of the Yanni, like, in my opinion. Like, first, first that he landed, it was like, oh, hey, you, y'all shouldn't even let him come out here. Like, that was, it, it should have been over. Right. Uh, and that was it. And that, that his was gas it. tank probably wasn't there either because you, if you've never been to the deep waters, you don't know what the, how to train for the deep waters. So he hasn't the trained. The one time that he was, the one yeah. time that he was, it was a split decision. Split be. Yeah. But uh, know who the bosses wanted to win. Clearly, because Brunson didn't even get a uh, bonus for this. Yeah, and I, that's that's more disappointing than anything on the night. Brunson came in that's a the high, most disappointing high thing underdog. The night. Biggest underdog Biggest of the underdog. night. Now, now if Cody Durden the would have went out there and did this. If Cody oh, yeah. Durden would have went out there and did this to Chris Gutierrez, he would have damn sure got a bonus, bro. Because I oh, mean, he no- basically had. He basically had the first round that, uh, no, not even, not even. The reason that it it sucks because he did it in the main event and he did it in a fight that the UFC has set up to be a Shabazzian showcase fight. They didn't play a Derek Brunson, uh, preview video. That was all. Oh yeah, he trained with Rousey. He was, he was watching a star made right before his eyes as a teenager. Derek Brunson said, I don't give two <laughs> on YouTube, so I'm not even going to cuss. But, hey, I don't give two of those about it. And, and I'm going to do my thing. They didn't have no Brunson story. They didn't even have, like, show a Brunson highlight. It was all Edmund Shabazi. I'm surprised they didn't give Ed, Edmund a uh, walkout second the way they was treating him. Even the commentary <laughs> seemed so biased to Edmund hey, Shabazi in this fight. 
Hey, so, hey, hey, man, why don't you pick a why don't you pick a walk off for this other guy <laughs> that you about to dust off? Oh yeah, hey, th- hey, throw that nip on for him. Throw, throw that nip. Oh, on. I mean, I, I'm surprised they didn't have Bob Shabazi and walk out second. Like he was the higher ranked guy. Like, the way everything was set up, this was set up for Shabazi to come in and whoop on Derek Brunson. And Brunson said it's not going to happen here. Not today. Not, t- not, today. not today. Yeah, <laughs> he man. Yeah. With it. No, no, no. And I'm, I'm like, it's t- I'm not even going to say that I'm surprised. Pick. I'm not even going to say that I'm surprised because as soon as I remembered that it was going to be in a small case, I knew like Brenton probably had a better chance than what I originally gave him. Uh, yeah, bro. Shabazi is it clearly wasn't what it needed to be. Uh, his power probably isn't what it needs to be for this level. He don't even seem like a small middleweight though. Like he actually seemed kind of uh, kind of burly. Like he's pretty tall and he's not like. Like, he's not, like, swole or anything, but he's not, like, a little guy. Uh, but, yeah, bro, it's, it's, it's just levels, bro. This this was a, this was a three-round a three version of uh, 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 Johnny Walker and uh, this levels guy. Uh, Corey, uh, Anderson. Corey Anderson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's... It's the it's, it comes down to the style of the fight. Derek Brunson is the guy who smothers, not necessarily smothers, but he he invades your space. He doesn't allow he you keeps to, the to pressure sit back on and you. get comfortable. Yeah, mm-hmm. super pressure heavy. So you can have all the kicks in the world, but if you don't have the space to land these kicks, those kicks mean nothing. And I want to uh, see Shabbat. Till. I want to see Till versus Shabbat. I mean, but Till Till not a. Till, till still a little bit too uh too up there too high, yeah. Yeah. and Sabajian is more I was gonna say Sabajian is more cut in the mold of uh Anthony Pettis. He kicks better than he punches. Or his kicks are better than his punches, should I say. So his kicks his kicks are better than his punches. I think so it's gonna be tough. Got a little bit of hands. I feel like he got a little bit of hands, but I feel like I don't know that his hands are necessarily full. I think they're just uh put in Set up more of his kicks, so yeah, I can I can see what he's saying. I can, I can see. It. Yeah, my guy Brunson came out, dominated him, start to finish, got the finish, didn't get the performance bonus like he should have. Cause Dana's Shame a on you. hater. Shame he didn't get you, the Dana. performance bonus. He didn't get the performance bonus because Aljamain Sterling didn't get the brand away uh, title title uh, shot. That's why. Who did get a title shot to? Oh, they, they didn't say. I'm just saying. Oh, okay. Same, same reason, you know. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, oh I thought uh, you were talking about the first title shot. I thought you were talking about right now. I'm about to say, if they doing that, hey, I'm talking, I'm right talking about right now, too. I'm talking about oh. right now, too. Not even oh, guaranteed. Man. Talking about right now, too. Oh, you man. hear me. You hear me, Dana. Dana, Dana <laughs> going to have you uh, blackball from covering the UFC now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't let this. Nah, out. hey, hey, they didn't give Brunson you... no bonus for that for that goofy ass haircut. That's what it is. Oh, uh, hey, you gotta stand out. He, what was it? Was it uh, Rand- looking like Dennis Randall the Cole? Mini? Yeah. What's the guy? Yeah. Uh, Randall Cole. Yeah. yeah. That's what he out there looking like. He trying. I capped off UFC fight night, Brunson versus Shabazi. We was able to make it through the card with an actual card, even with all the hoopla and shenanigans that led into the card. Like I said, hopefully all the people who tested positive get well. For the guys who had undisclosed reason uh, for being pulled, hope that matter gets fixed for you guys. I'm assuming it has something to do with weight cuts or the Rona, but I'm not... No, nah, I'm not. I don't have the details to speculate. Trevin Giles, I hope everything works out with him. Uh, and hopefully, we see that uh, Kevin Holland that Herman fight that he was calling for. He, mm-hmm. we're gonna see Kevin Holland. Hey, he's he fighting soon. Holland. He's fighting soon. He might hopefully fight. They can throw week. him on the DC card. Yeah, if they throw him on the DC card, that'll work. They got space. Right. So, yeah, no, man, not the DC. They let him fight next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I got ahead of myself. Oh, uh, uh, to, to Derek Lewis. Yeah. 
And Derek Lewis called my guy Alexis. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to pull over with my guy uh, Alexi, but we're going to see. We're going to see. So, yeah, yeah, fight fans. That is it for us. Y'all ain't got to go home, but y'all got to get the hell up out of here because, hey, I got to get ready to cover next week's fight. Got to do some little studying. Got to get my notes up. So, as always... Thank you for rocking with us. Thank you for the support. This is the Cajun Style Podcast. I'm Nebby. Man, and it's your boy right with that. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. So you only got a couple more weeks, so get, don't get used to it. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, I ain't seen Eric Andrews' name on Bovada yet. You may be clear. You may be in the clear. Hey, still never break, though. That's all I know. Cajun Never style. burn. Cajun style. Yes, sir.